my hair has not been doing well lately to say the very least it's been so dry i missed wash day for last week because i just had a really busy weekend so normally i wash my hair on sundays but i had a really busy sunday so i didn't get a chance to do it and now it's tuesday and i'm washing my hair today in the middle of the week on a tuesday so that's not really ideal for me because it takes like a couple of days for my hair to really just pop off, if you know what I'm saying. The first day after wash day is normally like sort of like an awkward day. But as y'all can probably see, I have quite a bit of lint. Some lint right there. I know there's plenty on this side. Y'all can probably see all up and through here. There's like lint and it's pretty engraved into my hair i don't really know what to do about it you can see it well in certain light but you can't really see it that well right now because um well i guess you kind of can that right there this right here my hair is super dry like i was saying so you best believe I'm going to be conditioning today. The last three times I washed my hair, I did not condition just because I feel like I didn't really need to. But now I need to. I need to make sure that I'm conditioning like twice a month at least. See, look, lint right there. Okay, anyway, I think I got it. I'm going to be going back to my roots. If y'all have been here for a while, then you already know that I really love the Kenra clarifying shampoo I'm gonna be using this one even though clarifying shampoos generally are like kind of stripping but it's okay because I have the conditioner that goes along with it I didn't have this before so I want to be trying it today it's their moisturizing conditioner with the clarifying shampoo So I'm really excited because I didn't even know that they sold this, which I don't know why, because obviously there's normally always a shampoo that goes along with a conditioner, like in the set, but I just, for so long, I only bought the shampoo, but I might end up using this if I feel the need to. This is the Melanin Hair Care Multi-Use Softening Leave-In Conditioner. I might use this. I don't know how I feel about it because as you can see, it's white, it's thick, it's like a cream because it's a leave-in conditioner, but I don't know. I'm already having lint problems. I'm not sure if that would cause buildup or not, so I'm kind of on the fence about using that. We'll see how my hair is feeling after I get out the shower when I get done washing it. I'm going to go ahead and start washing my hair now. And I will come back and show y'all what I'm going to do after I get out. shower now I didn't even dry my hair off yet because I just want to show y'all what it looks like when it's fully drenched here it is I don't know why I have a side part now but it makes my forehead look so big <laughs> let me find my middle part okay that didn't really help my forehead still looks large but 
that's all right so just got done washing my hair and i have to say i absolutely loved those products that i was using the camera clarifying shampoo y'all already know that i will always love that one that was the first shampoo that i ever used since the beginning of my luck journey but i haven't tried the conditioner that goes along with it the moisturizing conditioner i will have it linked down below that's all i have to say that's all i have to say i absolutely love that conditioner and when i was in the shower i was showing y'all like a little quick little snippet of what it looked like the texture of it was different than what i expected it almost looked kind of like it was creamy but it had like air pockets in it i don't know what's up with that but i really liked it it wasn't super thick it wasn't really hard to wash out or anything like that so i really love that i don't know if i'm gonna try this leave-in conditioner just yet because my hair is feeling really good right now um it feels a lot better and i think that it's gonna get even better whenever it dries all the way so i don't know if it's necessary for me to put in a leave-in conditioner just yet i might save that for like a really dire situation i do know that my mom has used that leave-in conditioner i saw her using it last night and um i haven't asked her if she likes it or not but i'm assuming that she does because this morning she wasn't complaining or anything like that so she probably liked it <laughs> If y'all haven't seen my mom retighten her hair on my channel, watch the video. I'll have it linked in the i cards up here for you to watch. But I just wanted to take a second to show y'all because this is kind of like my hair stretched out a little bit more than normal because I just kind of washing it. Do you see how this side hangs lower than this side? This side hangs like a lot shorter. And I, I low-key feel like it's because this side of my hair is thicker anyways. But before I got locks, a couple of months before, when I didn't really know I wanted locks yet, I was trying to get myself a haircut. And I cut off like way too much <laughs> on this side. So that could also be why. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all how my hair is looking. Y'all, my hair is getting so long. I'm trying to pull it as far as I can. Like right here. I should probably do like a little length check soon maybe i'll do that um for my one year lock update but yeah just wanted to show y'all what my hair was looking like fresh out the shower i'm going to dry off and i will be right back all right so i'm back i didn't dry my hair or anything like that i just let it i'm just gonna let it kind of air dry but i'm actually about to go ahead and braid it up right now so i'll just show y'all a little montage of me moisturizing and braiding my hair nothing that y'all haven't seen already but i'm still show you anyway i'm just going to be using this to moisturize my hair my hair i did it kind of smaller than normal because i really wanted to dry normally my hair does not dry that well it takes like a day and a half for it to dry so i just braided them way smaller than normal so that i can have a better chance of it drying all the way i y'all the oils that i was using i will have both of these linked down below pretty much all the products that i was using linked down below because i love it i love the combinations together so i finished doing that and now all i'm gonna do is wait for my hair to dry and then tomorrow i'm gonna take my hair down and i'm just gonna have another braid out so that is all for my wash day routine i hope that y'all enjoyed it 
Let me know down below in the comments if you've ever tried any of these products. Give this video a like if you liked it. Dislike if you don't so that I'll know never to post anything like this again. If you made it all the way to the end, comment down below Blue Heart. And make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and share my videos with anybody that you think might get a little bit of help from it or just might find it entertaining in some way. I'll talk to y'all in my next one and I'm out. If you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>